tonight. A death on New Year's Day. Good evening to you. I'm Sheree Palello. Mike Dardis has the night off. Police found a man dead in the passenger seat of a car this morning, and the driver was nowhere to be found. WLWT investigative reporter Todd Dykes is leading the way live tonight with more on this investigation happening in Newport tonight. Todd. Well, Sheree, whatever happened in this parking lot that led to a deadly crash earlier this morning off uh, Monmouth Street, well, that remains a mystery tonight. But one thing is very clear whatever happened here has left one family reeling at the start of what looked like such a promising year. A new year is not supposed to start with a phone call from a coroner. Told us that uh, he had our son and that he. Uh, He used the word expired. That's the devastating news Mike McElroy and his wife Chris of Anderson Township received early on New Year's Day about their son, 39 year old Jordan. He was very, very intelligent. It was a lot of fun. The call came just one week after the McElroy celebrated Christmas. We hugged, said goodbye, love you. And, uh, that was the last time we saw him. Police in Newport say Jordan McElroy was a passenger in his own car that ended up crashing into a wall. We're believing that there was another person inside the vehicle that was driving. It happened early on Thursday in this restaurant parking lot off Monmouth Street, hours after the McElroy say Jordan went to see one of his favorite local bands. Police believe the driver took off on foot. While detectives check nearby surveillance video, the McElroys have this message for the person behind the wheel. Well, we know it wasn't your fault. You were just out having fun. Stuff happens. And we saw the accident scene, and, uh, you know, it happened so quick. We know it was an accident. And it would probably go better if you come forward, and not so good if they have to find you. Yeah, that search continues tonight. Now, the McElroys say this was shaping up to be a good year for their son, Jordan, a Turpin High School graduate. They say he was set to go back to work for Toyota in just a few weeks after being laid off around this time last year. Reporting live tonight in Newport, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5. All right, Todd, thank you. We will know more about this crash in about the next day or two when police get toxicology results back in.